to sit in there for the first time? Well, this double, this double pleating uh, reminds me of uh, exotic. Like, oof. Fucking planes. Welcome back to another episode of Planes Flying Overhead. While I try to make a video featuring Rose crying in the garage. It's been two and a half days, a trip to the dump, a trip to the scrapyard, and a trip to our property to dump a bunch more stuff. But we finally have an open garage space, which will allow us to film a little bit more frequently in here, I hope. Plus a little bit of computer desk that I might be able to edit at or something, you know? All right, you guys, drum roll, please. While I'm opening this box, I'm gonna give a shout out to Mike. Thank you so freaking much for making us another beautiful pair of seats. I already know what they look like, so I know they're gonna be beautiful. Is that... What's in the yellow? Oh, I, I see, it's the stuffing. It's oh. extra stuffing. Oh, cool. There's this inside. Oh my God, it says Rose. <laughs> <laughs> There's one for you too, I think. No, wait. No, this one's just for me. What does that one say? That one uh, says razor hog rings. blades are sharp. <laughs> hog rings. Do not place hog rings in mouth. Oh, well, Mike wait. doesn't really like to have any fun then, does he? So these are actually prepped to install, so she's going to have to invert one to show you guys. Yeah. But then you'll have to redo this, so keep this in mind. That emblem is fucking huge. <laughs> It's good, it's good. I love it. Yeah, I'm glad we went with the, just the Pegasus over over anything. I'm, I'm oh, so geez. excited. <laughs> I feel like these are like pretty pretty normalized seats compared to the other ones we've got, but that's what I love about them. And we, we initially decided that together. We were like, we aren't gonna do anything extravagant. We just wanted beech wood. We wanted to keep it clean. You know, like well, that was the whole point of the car itself is like modern day four banger in the back. And we wanted the interior to just look good. So. That's definitely well, that's a stark contrast with how we got it. <laughs> Mike, thank you so much for these beautiful seats. So excited. Oh, I'm so excited to sit in them for the first time. This double pleating uh, reminds me of uh, exotic. Like, ooh, so many extra stitches just for luxury. <laughs> If you weren't sure about whether or not you should go full force and just get some seat covers by Mr. Mike's till the end of time, you will regret not having done it if you don't have the opportunity to do it in the future. Mr. Mike, you are the guy, Mike. It's in here. Oh, is that gonna be the thing? Mm-hmm. So that will go over the center console super beautiful. Is it my saddle from Mike too? Yeah. It's cute. Love it. If you have been considering getting seats from Mike, you definitely should get on it now. 100% recommend Mike every time, hands down. Just think of where are you in your Fiero all the time? What are you always touching? Your seats. Your your center console. Like it's, it's not even just about how they look, like the added padding and the nice feel, it just, it feels different. It's so much it does, more comfortable. No, and they complete the car, really. They like, literally the car feels absolutely different. I can tell you that between driving the 4.9 or just driving Prince and driving the LSJ, I can tell you that like, when I'm sitting in these really nice seats, I feel the car is just whole it's complete like there's something to that that's very significant we will make sure to drop a link to mike's website down below so you guys can go and look at any of the seats he already has mike we love you thank you so much 
Okay, you guys, so before I do absolutely anything to the seats, I am going to go to Mr. Mike's YouTube channel, and I'm going to watch his how-to on how to install these seat covers. This was made on VHS in 1995, so I'm just going to give this a, you know, quick overview and get a just idea of it. Hi, welcome to Mr. Mike's. I'm Mr. Mike. I'm going to show you how to reupholster a Piero seat with a leather seat cover. The first thing you need to do is get the seat out of the car. Remove the tracks. Wow. This is special. This is a little bit rustier than normal. Holy crap. All right, we already had a little bit of fail. So yeah, the original seat was so rusted out that one of the bolts didn't uh, didn't even come out. Here's the bolt that didn't fully come out. It, dude, I've never seen that. It just broke off right in the seat. So we just would rather not use something so fucking rusted. <sighs> we'll just we'll set it off the side and onto the two passenger side seats. Okay, don't, uh, yeah, that's a very long bolt, so push the center button. It's like the opposite of making the bed. Now we're gonna go in that hole in the back. We did it. Oh, we did the bottom of the seat so far. It looks fucking primo. Slap it a little bit so you can get it, get it get wrinkles out, you know? Onto the back? Oh, God. Okay, guys. So I need to get wires out of the back of this seat. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut across and then I'm going to cut up the middle. Um, we also might need some of the foam from the seat, so. <laughs> well, because our passenger seat had the seat cover already moved and therefore the listing wires are gone from it. So we got a naked seat that's really clean, but no listing wires. Now, cut, let's cut the, the, this is uh, held on up here with hog rings. Let's cut, cut those ones out. All right, freedom! Wow, 
The moldy seat doesn't really look any different than last year. <laughs> Making sure putting on straight. You grab your hands in there. Yeah, spread it. <laughs> You gotta get it, get it back. You gotta you have to shift this over so the seam is this is on the seam. Yeah, you should clean your hands more often, right? <laughs> Alright, you guys. The seat is assembled. The tracks are back on. All the bolts are in place. It's time for the moment. So how does it feel to assemble your first seat? It's good. I wish I almost wish we could do the other one, but it's like midnight and the kids have been asleep and and uh, gotta send that sitter home. So I'm glad we don't have a second seat to do because I don't want to do it right now. But I'm impressed. I'm thoroughly like I always love my seats, but I really enjoyed putting this together. And I'm glad we got to have time to bond like that. Nothing says a uh, good, good marriage bonding like putting together Mr. Mike's seat. You guys think about that. <laughs> yeah. Like, you want to know why our marriage is so successful? It's because we built a car together. All right. See you next seat. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know this is going to be like really short for them? It's going to be instantaneous. Uh, to us installing both these seats. Like you're gonna be doing it tomorrow. <laughs> like ah, <laughs> why? Man, we're finally done with these two seats. Uh, it actually took me a lot longer to finish the second one because just haven't had a lot of time lately. Lots of family things going on. B pillars are ready to go in. Woo! In genuine beechwood cleaned up and painted these speaker grills a little bit, dyed them back to the factory color. Everything is very exciting, but we've made a huge mess of the garage and apparently you can make five Fiero seats into two. I wouldn't recommend it though. There, not so bad, huh? Pulls them back in the car, you're ready to go. But first, I'd like to mention that we have a new piece of merchandise that I'm really excited about. And again, it's handmade here by us. It's not made at a factory. All the profit goes into working on the project. But here it is, the Lightspeed Fierro's flag. Now this flag is a brand new flag. It is three feet by two feet and it has a two plus foot long Lightspeed Fierro's logo in the notch back to celebrate 
the Project LSJ Fiero. If you want, you can actually buy this flag. It's available right now on Etsy. I will produce five flags. So five flags of this design show your support. We also have all our t-shirts, sweatshirts, as well as Rose's Etsy, where she does all this really, really intricate tie-dye stuff. Here is an alien spaceship, as well as a rainbow spine. This is the back of this shirt, so that's pretty cool. Um, that's available on Rose's shop, which is Etsy.com shop celestial dyes. Hey guys, so this isn't a video that I thought I'd have to make ever. We've had a delay in our uploads recently uh, because August 3rd, my dad had a stroke and a series of seizures that um, led to severe brain damage. It was caused by a clot in his carotid artery that led to a subarachnoid aneurysmal hemorrhage in his brain. Um, it was very severe. It left a lot of brain damage. We had him on life support for a couple of weeks and he definitely fought his very hardest. Uh, uh, he passed away on August 19th. And um, my dad was the main breadwinner in the house. And he obviously is not here to help support his family anymore. So I've decided to reach out to you guys. Currently, um, there's a GoFundMe page up. We will leave a link down in the description below. If you would like to donate to the GoFundMe, it would be incredibly appreciated right now as my family is scrambling to think about medical bills, rent, food, you know, all the basics, and it's been very hard. It still hasn't quite hit us. Little fun fact, um, my dad is actually the guy who taught me how to tie-dye, and I didn't know this until looking at a lot of pictures of me as a child, like two or three. My dad used to wear tie-dye all the time and he loved tie-dyeing and I, one day I eventually was like, yo dad, I'm gonna invest a bunch of money into this art hobby that you really like to create this hobby that him and I love doing together. And we have made so much tie-dye over the last like five years. My investment in our hobby is what started Celestial Dyes and my dad was probably my biggest fan when it came to my tie-dye. And part of me is sad that I'll never share that with him again. And I'll never get to show him the LSJ project finished. You know, sometimes you want your parents to be proud of you and my dad always was. And I know he still is. And it just fucking sucks. It really fucking sucks right now. I'm no stranger to losing a parent and I know everything will be fine. Enough of my sob story. I will eventually probably upload a, a longer video just to talk. If you guys would like to help in any way, um, you guys are welcome to purchase um, my tie-dye. We have our Lightspeed Fiero merch, and you guys are welcome to purchase that. And we will leave a link for the GoFundMe and the Etsy shops all down below, because I just want to make sure that everybody in my life is taken care of. It's not something I had when my mom passed away, so... There was nobody there to help us or do anything for us or it was really hard and we didn't have any emotional support um, or anything like that. So I'm just, I'm doing exactly what I wish somebody would have done for me as a child. Yeah, all right, let's get back to the video, guys.